should be on the All SEC first team. If he's not, it, it, that's a crime. He has had an outstanding season. One of those seniors who continues to get better year after year after year. Top 10 of points. That practice today for a game day and a shoot around. They worked with the scout team a little bit. Then they played five on five half court. Chris Patola. It was it was heavy stuff for a game day. Well. And Michael Porter was a part of all of that. Uh, you know, that, that's why, when are you, if you're going to? Missouri has a home game at Arkansas to close the regular season in the SEC tournament in St. Louis. And they are, there, there's a lot of different elements to this. Number one being, they're in danger of falling off the bubble and out of the tournament. And I understand the concern with team chemistry. I understand working a guy in. But hogwash when you're returning a guy who's a lottery pick and your biggest need is someone to take the ball in end of game situations. Well, and look, Missouri has a ceiling with the group out. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, of all the teams to fear right now, North Carolina is one of those teams. They've become so comfortable with that small lineup they're playing. Luke May is having an all ACC season playing their best basketball. Here's Jonte Porter from Missouri. Uh, but, you know, whatever they do, conference tournament here to end the regular season, I think they've got to get to 20 wins. And, and part of that is about how good the SEC has been this year. 20 wins should get you in. Brown hits one. He only has eight on the season now. And he's got to make here in this first half. Cassius Robertson over the zone. And he... Gonna say if he hits one, <laughs> but Bandy with the rebound. Here's Toy. Who's taking the shots? <laughs> Isha K. Obina hadn't made a three all season, hadn't even attempted it. Some guys are open for a reason, Tom Hart. Yeah. Great perimeter defense by John T. Porter. And then it's taken away. Barnett dives for That's what you want a guy to do. He dives on a 50-50 ball and ends up turning it over, leading to points. It's more of a belly flop, wasn't it? It was uh it was a three from the Russian judge. <laughs> Next he's gonna attempt a triple Lindy. Here's Cassius Robertson. And Missouri had so much this year. He only has 13. He averages 17, tied for six in the SEC. Mismatch with Geist. Porter comes to help. Little bounce. And that they have had. Jante Porter. And he gets fouled. Didn't see the entire execution. The whole play was really well designed. Cassius Robertson works free and drains it. Up. Well, he can coach now. Uh, in the tournament last year, and then to keep them themselves above the players, young pieces have fit in nicely this year. Roberson with the offensive foul. Simi Shitu is the top ranked player thus far. He comes in as the number 11 player in the country. And look at this from a historical perspective. Vanderbilt has not seen a recruiting class like this. Working on Barnett. Two, one, fall away at the buzzer. Not, uh, by the way, Pitt had seven points in the first half against Virginia on Saturday. Yeah. Well, they got, they had 30 in the second half, so you know things were looking up after the seven they put up in the first half. Shot clock at five. Jordan Barnett comes up with it. That's the problem with Tillman on the bench. You, you don't have that muscle, that size inside. A guy who's going to come over with aggression to protect your basket. Jonte Porter left alone. Great robberies. The thing about Duke Carolina is you live amongst each other. Like, you're only, it's only 10 miles apart. You're living amongst North Carolina fans. They're living amongst Duke fans. 
to be able to float in the air. The, the game becomes much easier. And that's what Toy does. He is a driver of the ball. Vandy classified up to have a chance to play with brother Michael, their dad Michael Sr. on this Missouri staff. Could you imagine if your son went out there to play in high school and had to face off against John T. Porter <laughs> or Marvin Bagley? <laughs> yeah, it's not fair. You know what I mean? Like those two guys could be playing in high school this year. Here's Perrier down the paint. That's nice. their defense. Missouri turned it over nine times in the first half, and they gave up eight threes. You know, post passing is a is a lost art, and you know, 90% of the time it's the guard's fault. Get an angle, drop it in there. Shot clock at five. Porter steps up, Man. drains sessions. They've missed their last six field goal attempts now. And you can tell Toy didn't want to shoot that. You know, off the catch, the hesitation told you all you needed to know. Well, look at this mismatch. Porter on the chance. Out to Barnett. Is Trey Young your player of the year? He is, and I, I think we get front runner fatigue. I like Jalen Brunson. Uh, if I had one guy to take, I would take Jalen Brunson for other guys. I thought maybe that's why Seth ended up with Potter tonight because he had front runner fatigue and called yeah. for a changeup. I will say this to Coach Greenberg: I never feel smaller than when I'm sitting next to Chris Cotter in spots left and right. We've got a shootout going on here after Lachance hit that last three, and then Porter answered again. Jonte Porter's closing out on what would be his season and career high. Shot clock at five and an offensive mm. foul on an illegal screen. Vandy looking for some memorial magic to get back in this game. And Paul Barnett finds it. Jonte Porter offers a screen. He's got a season high 19. And he's got a new save Porter. If he keeps this up, he won't be little brother much longer. <laughs> he won't be the other Porter. Evans tries to fit it around the corner, taken away by M Evans tries to fit it around the corner, taken away by Missouri. They have been a much different defensive team in this second half. They've held Vanderbilt to 35% shooting since the break. Per year, sizing nice it up. Pass. There's Porter, and his night continues. I mean, I think that's one thing we forget at this point of the season. Tillman left it short. A lot of coaches will say, well, my freshmen aren't freshmen anymore. Well, is he a freshman now? Because he's supposed to be a senior in high school. Peyton Willis. Move on the baseline out of bounds. What chance? At a minute, it's Willis. Roberson fouled by Tillman.